a trio of presidents inside Radio City Music Hall. Presidents Biden, Obama, and Clinton presenting a united front as the race for the White House against another former president, Donald Trump, kicks into high gear. The star-studded fundraiser featuring late-night host Stephen Colbert. Can voters trust a presidential candidate who has not won a single Trump International Golf Club trophy? I told him this before, before he got sworn in. I said, I'll give you three strokes if you carry your own bag. We got three presidents in the panel tonight. The event also included performances by Lizzo, Queen Latifah, and Ben Platt. The Biden campaign, which did not allow reporters to record video inside the event, says it raised more than $25 million, a record haul. Actress and comedian Mindy Kaling joked about the high price tag to get in. It is such an honor to be in this room with so many rich people. (laughs) Earlier in the day, former President Obama arrived with his one-time vice president on Air Force One. NBC gained access to the live stream early, where the three presidents sat down for a pre-taped campaign interview. And we're just getting started. So let's keep going. Let's win this November. Inside Radio City, the fundraiser interrupted a few times by pro-Palestinian protesters. While outside the iconic venue, demonstrators blasted President Biden's handling of the Israel-Hamas war. Did you vote for him in 2020? I did, and I will not vote for him this time. Also in the New York area, former President Trump attended the wake of NYPD officer Jonathan Diller, who was shot and killed this week during a traffic stop, meeting with his wife and one-year-old son. But we have to get back to law and order. We have to do a lot of things differently because this is not working. Back to the fundraiser last night, one of the moments that stood out, former President Obama scolding pro-Palestinian protesters and strongly defending President Biden. He told one of the hecklers, you can't just talk and not listen. Certainly one of the issues that the Democratic Party is having to address as this campaign wraps up, or right. r- ramps up. Yeah. All right, Gabe. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.